Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have the privilege to be in a brand new golf course as as you can tell it is raining. So this is going to be a very exciting day. It is a gloomy gloomy day and today we are playing out here at Sungai Long Golf and Country Club. This is the 10 hole which is also my first hole for the day. It is a par 4 and I'm just hitting it down the center. I think you can tell there are bunkers down the left and the right but there is quite a big fairway and if you do miss to the right it is just a rough so it is definitely playable and as you can see the rain is massively picking up so I'm hitting a 9 iron here and just hoping that I can get it somewhere on the green because well it is very very rainy and I am not wearing a rain glove so that is not ideal guys, please if you do not already have one, go buy yourself a rain glove especially when you're living in Asian countries like I am, it is, is crucial to have a rain glove with you at all times. So anyway, after that second shot, I made it on the green so I did give myself a putt for birdie which is what we always want to see especially in the first hole and especially when the conditions are like this. So this was my birdie putt. And it was cruelly rejected, but you know what? We will take a tap in par on the first hole. And after that, we actually went back to the clubhouse because it was just pouring down rain. So we're back out on the second hole. And as you can see, a change in outfit. I actually changed my hat to my bucket hat, which is a rainproof bucket hat, whereas the other one was more for the sun. So do make sure that you have the right bucket hat because this stair dry bucket hat is amazing and it really does protect you from the rain whereas the other one is more suited for the sun but anyway before we start on a rant about hats let's move on to this shot which is i mean this hole which is a par four that was my tee shot slightly down the left side but you do want to play a little bit more towards the left side here unfortunately i kind of ran out of fairway because i think well i should have shot the distance to see exactly how much fairway i had but anyway, I was still in a fine place. Although I did have a little bit of a muddy ball. And as you can tell, I'm in the rough, so obviously I could not clean it. And the mud was on the right side of the ball, which meant that the ball was going to go a little bit left. But also, as you can see, there is a bunker down the right side. So we do not want to play too far down the right in case the mud does not affect it. And then now you're going to be in the bunker. As you can see here, although I did miss it on the left side, I am just off the green. So it is not too bad. It is a little bit down, downhill left to rider. And the greens here are actually really, really good. Even in these rainy conditions, the ball was actually rolling very, very well, which I was quite surprised by. So on normal, I think without the rain, the greens were probably rolling about 10.5 to 11, which is really, really good in Malaysian climate. And again, guys, second hole gets rejected again. So you know what? <laughs> It might just be that kind of day. But anyway, let's move on to the third hole, which is a par 5. Over here, this par 5 is pretty straightforward. You can see the green from here. But the left side is bunker line. So you definitely want to go towards the right side of this fairway. For me over here, especially because I play a draw, I am aiming towards the... Uh, really towards the right side of the fairway, actually. And just hoping... Or just letting the ball draw in naturally by itself and not forcing it it is a par 5 so all we want to do is get it out there and it's a not it's not reachable for me today it is very wet conditions as you can see it is humid so the course is definitely playing a lot longer and I am playing from the blue tees which is well basically on this course it was red white blue and gold so I'm on the blue tees today for my second shot, I had 280 yards, so definitely not being not reachable for me. And I'm hitting a 3 wood here, but it was definitely not going to get anywhere close to the green, not in these conditions. So just hitting one out there, making sure that I'm somewhere on the fairway, which is what I did. And after that, I left myself with about a 90 yarder, and I was hitting a 52 degree wedge here. The pin is in front, but as you can tell, bunker on the left side, and the pin is pretty close to the bunker. So with my draw, I'm definitely aiming more towards the center of the green and just letting the draw take it back, not trying to play with that bunker at all. 
of course this is a part five so we do want to give ourselves a birdie opportunity but at the same time we also want to make sure first goal is get it on the green so that you get a birdie putt and not a birdie chip especially from the fairway so goal was achieved i left myself with this putt here for birdie and the greens here are actually quite tricky you know it's it was pretty hard to read the greens especially because this is actually my first time playing here and I actually cannot even remember the last time I played on this golf course. So definitely no recollection of the course at all. And even from this video, I can see the slight slopes that I definitely noticed while I was out there playing. And just left that part a little bit short, but a tap in par, so not too bad. Moving on to the next hole, which is this par 4. As you can see, the entire left side is water. So this is this was an index hole. I think it was an index one or two hole. So definitely a difficult hole. And for me, especially, well, the right side is there's about there's like flower bits and stuff. So there, you definitely cannot just you know push it out and make sure you're safe for the water. You do need to hit a good shot here. So if you're not confident with your driver, you do want to take something that you're confident is going to be able to go straight. But for me, because of the conditions and stuff like that, I did not want to have a super long club into the green, so I'm still hitting a driver here. Even though my shot, my natural shot is a draw, so the water does come into play. So all I'm doing is trying to pick a good target out there, making sure that I do leave myself enough room for the draw, but also just making sure that I'm committed to the shot 100% and just swinging it and letting the ball do its thing. So I hit a good shot out there, and still still quite a ways to the green so i left myself with a six iron here i'm hitting a punch six iron rather than a seven iron just because of the conditions and stuff as i said my six iron carries about 155 yards for a punch shot so it should be just good and just putting it on the green which is exactly what we need to do and if you did not already notice this black glove that i'm wearing is a rain glove so yes i did make sure that I got all my tools after we stopped for that 10 for that 30 minute break after the first hole so yeah just in case you haven't already noticed i am wearing a rain glove and that's definitely helped a lot so anyway after that second shot it was a good shot just a little bit short of the pin but it's not too bad still gave myself a birdie putt which is what we're always looking for especially in difficult conditions so i think i had about uh, maybe just under a 30 footer here for birdie so anything on the green definitely you want to be reasonable don't expect yourself to make all of this even half this distance is also not always a make a must make kind of putt so you do want to make sure that your speed is good your line is good and also make sure that if you do miss you're going to give yourself an easy par and not give yourself a chance for a three putt so i actually hit a pretty decent putt but it did not break as much as i thought it was going to and that could be due to the fact that it was raining and it was not breaking as much or also because the water was actually on the left side so maybe that was pushing it a little bit and because of that it did not break as much as i thought it was going to but anyway let's move on to the next hole which is a par 3 so for this par 3 it does look pretty narrow from the tee shot so i did not realize that there was quite a bit of green actually as you will be able to see but i am hitting an 8 iron here which is Definitely more than enough to carry those bunkers in the front and just making sure that I leave myself a good chance for well, a good chance to have a birdie putt and I hit a good shot there but because as I mentioned it did look like a pretty short green which it actually is very very deceiving because there's actually a lot of space but again similar to the previous hole although not as close as I want it to be it is still on the green and maybe have an I think I have about a 30 footer here as well and from here actually on this video it does look like it's right to left but over there I'm definitely putting left to right and as you can see it broke a lot more than I thought it was going to but that's the thing about these greens here they are definitely very deceiving and I'm not sure if there's I think it is pretty grainy but with the rain and stuff like that it's quite difficult to judge but anyway still a par and that is fine with me so next hole is a par 5. So this par 5, there is a water hazard down the center of the fairway, but I'm definitely not reaching that. I think it was about 300 yards to reach it. 
So I am trying to go a little bit more towards the left side of this fairway and I'm not really sure why I was doing that because I play a draw. So maybe I would like to reevaluate what I what I'm doing on this hole the next time I play there. But definitely I would have wanted to go more towards the center of the fairway because I actually ended up running out of fairway and going into those trees over there, leaving myself, as you can see here, with a very difficult second shot. It is downhill. It's a downhill lie which tends to push the ball towards the right side, which is what makes it difficult because there is a tree in front of me and I do need to hit a draw and there is a hazard running down the center of the fairway. So I do need to make a good solid contact shot and also make sure that the ball goes high enough to be able to carry that hazard with the draw because a lot of times when you close your club face to hit that draw, it does tend to go lower so you do need to make sure if you're not confident with this shot, definitely just punch it out there. But I managed to make a really good contact with the ball and hit a really good shot from where I was and I'm very happy with that. So after that, obviously because I was still hitting a hybrid and it was a punchy shot, I'm still left with a long ways to go. I have 163 yards here. This green does look a little bit elevated to me. And as you can see, bunkers down the right side. So you definitely do not want to play with the right side. And it was pretty obvious that this, the green was sloping right to left. So do pay attention to the terrain and stuff like that because especially on courses that you're not used to, try to take, a, take in as much information as you can, you know, so that you can at least give yourself a good position for, well, to make a birdie or even to make sure that you at least get a par. So I missed it a little bit left, but actually it's a much better place to miss on the screen with this pin position because my friend was up there on the right side and he had an absolutely terrible putt. It was so quick and for me, I just had a straight uphill putt and obviously as you will be able to see later, it is a big breaker. But as I mentioned before, try to take in as much as you can from the fairways or from the tee box or wherever you are just to make sure you can try to give yourself the best opportunity. Of course, if you've never played the course before, there might be tri tricks that you don't know about, but at the same time, just try to give yourself the best opportunity. And as I said, I could tell that the right side of the green was definitely slopier than the left side, and that's why I was aiming towards the pin and making sure that if anything, I was at least giving myself an uphill putt. And as you can tell, look at where my friend's putt is going. He did not even putt it that hard, but it's because the slope was so huge that the slope just took it all the way down and led it further and further away from the hole. Whereas with me over here, I am just on the green, so I do have a little bit of grass to go through on my back on my back stroke for this putting stroke. So you do need to pay attention to things like that because you tend to get a little bit jabby when that happens. But try to give it a smooth stroke there and actually hit a really good putt, but again, just got rejected. So so far, these putting greens have not been very friendly to me, as you can tell. But gave myself a tapping par there, which is okay. Let's move on to the next hole, which is a par 4. So this par 4, it actually does look a lot more narrow than it actually is. It's waterline down the left side, but there is a lot of fairway down the right side. So I am aiming more towards the right. If you can see, there is a buggy up there and that's actually where I'm aiming to. Sorry, a buggy or a golf cart or whatever you call it. But that is actually my aim and hoping that if it drew back, then it would be in the center of the fairway. But I hit this shot and it actually went straight there and had zero draw. So I ended up leaving myself on the right side, which is actually not too bad because there is hazard down the left side. But as I mentioned, there is actually a lot more space than it looks. So for my second shot here, as you can see, I'm actually very close to that water uh, drain thing, but I didn't take a drop because I had a really good lie. So I'm hitting a 9 iron here. The pin was in front and it looked like it had a little bit of a false slope. So I'm just, well, there is bunkers on the right and the left side here, so it is a very narrow pin position. I actually hit a really good shot. I was just maybe about one yard too far to the right that it took the slope and continued rolling down the right side, as you can see here. This green is really, really skinny though, so it definitely did not leave you a lot of space. And especially with the pin position today, it was a very, very tough pin position, so not too bad considering I was in the rough and had a not the easiest lie anyway, giving myself an uphill chip here, which is, well, it is acceptable. I'm hitting a 58 degree wedge here, 
and just trying to bump it up there. So I actually hit a pretty decent shot and just gave myself about a 3 footer left for par. So let's move on to the next hole which is a par 3. Today this hole was playing very long, especially for me with the conditions today and I'm playing off the blue tees. So the pin was tucked left and it was behind. So it was definitely not the easiest shot. I do play a draw but on holes like this you do need to make sure you do not overdraw it because anything left of the pin was definitely going in the water. And there was bunkers in front to carry as well so making sure that you have a good club. I am aiming pretty far right out here but I was apparently hoping for a draw which did not come and I ended up going very very far right considering where the pin position is but I am still on the green. Clearly that was the right club choice as well, I'm pin high but as I mentioned I am pretty far right so I definitely have quite a long putt here and it is uphill but past the pin was downhill and obviously water down the left side but I mean I don't think it was going to be that far as that I could definitely hit it into the put it into the water but definitely wanting to make sure your pace is good here and actually it was so deceiving because there was a big slope on the right side that I thought was going to take it back but it did not break as much as I thought it was going to and I think my camera is a little bit crooked here it's not actually this this much slopey towards the right side but from the videos it definitely looks like it's a big break towards the right but it's actually the opposite it's a right to left green from the position that i was in but anyway let's move on to the 18 hole which is the last hole on this nine this 18 hole is a pretty straightforward uphill par four there's a bunker down the left side and a big tree down the right side so i was trying to go a little bit towards the center of the fairway because I did not want to play with that tree down the right side but also I wanted to make sure that I was good from those bunkers down the left. And I hit an okay shot but it wasn't the most solid contact so after that tee shot, I still had about 143 yards to the pin. And the pin was in front but it was uphill so I'm hitting an 8 iron here to make sure that I have enough carry so that it does not hit the front fall slope and roll all the way back down. So just a full 8 iron here and obviously as I mentioned don't really know the green so didn't know what the green slopes were like from my position because it was definitely an uphill green so you could not really see much. So on holes like this really just gotta pick a good target and hit as good of a shot as you can and see what happens. So I actually ended up not too bad over here as you can see. This was the putt that I had. I think it was just under 10 feet, so maybe about a 9-footer. And if you can't really see it from this position or this video, but it is very, very quick. And look how soft I tapped that. And it just kept rolling and cruelly left me one roll short. But that is just the theme of the day, isn't it? It's alright, guys. I'll catch you guys for the back nine soon. Thank you guys for watching.